Hey everyone, it's Morella Minnelli here and today I'm going to show you how to do a really quick dimensional brunette shade using clay lightener and demi-permanent hair color. So stay tuned and check it out. This is my model Carrie and as you can see she has lots of grown out highlights. And the last time she got her hair done was about eight months ago. So what we're gonna try to achieve today is blend in her new growth to these old highlights down here by doing some hair painting throughout the hairline and face and some random hair painting throughout the back. And then we're gonna finish her off with a dimensional brunette shade using Demi Permanent Hair Color. I'm starting out by mixing up Kenra Professional's Simply Blonde Clay Lightener at a one to two mixing ratio with 30 volume developer. I always use a scale so you can have a really nice accuracy with the viscosity that you like and also the application of the product. Carrie typically wears her hair either down the middle or to either side. So I'm taking a very shallow zigzag part right down the middle and then I'm going to get ready to isolate her front sections so we can really focus on hair painting the front. Now you can see how much regrowth Carrie has. So she has about eight months of regrowth and lots of blonding towards the bottom. So our goal is to really brighten up that many piece area and then also her hairline. So if she wears her hair up in a ponytail, we'll be able to see some nice dimension right underneath that. You can see I'm taking about a two inch wide section starting from the top and then just bringing that right on over her ear and then just clipping the back sections away. Now to get started, I just take the top money piece section, which a really good guide is the arch of the eyebrows and back, and I just clip that away because I really want to start on that front hairline there. So I start by combing the hair back and having lots of tension, so that way I can get my hair painting nice and saturated and even throughout this hairline. So what I'm using here is a painting brush that's gonna be really useful for me because if you hold the brush sideways or horizontal and flat against the hair, you can get a nice even application and really get close to that hairline, which is really important if you want that brightness around the face. And I'm really just kind of focused more on the new growth all the way down to the mids because her ends are lightened so I'm not too concerned with putting a heavy saturation on those ends but I do however want a nice soft blend so I'm just using a little bit more of a saturation towards the top and lighter saturation towards that mids and then just using my fingers to blend that in to the previously lightened pieces. Now to get started on the top money piece, I'm just taking a slight diagonal section right on back and then clipping the very front section away because I want to start in the back. Because most of the hair, after I'm done painting it, it's going to lay away from her face. So this just gives me a little bit of extra control. Now taking my color brush, I'm just going to hold the hair with nice tension and still holding my color brush nice and flat and really pushing in that clay lightener on the surface of those mids and also the hair that's closest to the root. And I'm still really focused on lots of saturation on those mids and then stroking the product right on up to the new growth and then lightly stroking it down into the previously lightened hair. I'm going to do the same exact thing to that front section. I'm just going to hold the hair slightly back with lots of tension and applying the product again, nice and saturated on those mids, really pushing the product in, holding my brush nice and horizontal, and then pushing and stroking the product right on up to her hairline and lightly feathering it into her ends. I'm going to do the same exact thing to the other side taking my section right at the front hairline and then also taking my two slight diagonal sections right on the top for that money piece. And then once I'm done with this section, I'm going to get ready to do some freehand hair painting on the top. Because we're just really looking to blend in that new growth into those old lightened pieces on the end, I'm just really keeping her hair at its natural fall. So I did finger comb her hair 
prior to doing this application. And then once her hair just kind of fell where it normally goes, I just picked up random hair pieces throughout the back and continued with the same application with lots of saturation on the mids and then light separations towards the top and then slightly blending it right into those previously lightened pieces. Now that we're all done applying her clay lightener, we're gonna process her for about 20 minutes and then get ready to do her final glaze. It's been about 20 minutes and we went ahead and shampooed out Carrie's hair. And you can see we got very subtle dimension right in the back from the hair painting that we did right through the top. But what we're really excited about is this hairline right here. You can see we brought up that blonde. So that way we blended the new growth into the old highlights. And now we're gonna get ready to put on a dimensional glaze to make her a really rich, pretty brunette. For Carrie's final glaze application, I'm mixing up two different formulas. So one is gonna be 7NB in Demi Permanent Hair Color at a one to two mixing ratio with nine volume developer. And then my second formula is 5NB at a one to two mixing ratio with nine volume developer. I'm starting out by taking my 5NB formula and applying it to the first three to four inches right at the roots. So I'm just going to continue to start in the back and then work my way throughout the front. And then once I'm done applying to the root area only, I'm then going to take a wide tooth comb and then comb that product right on down. So that way I can really go in and blend when I get ready to alternate my two formulas. So I'm going to alternate the 5NB through the mids and ends and then apply my 7NB on the mids and ends. Once I'm done combing through the product, I'm just gonna isolate that front money piece and hairline section so I can make sure to apply my 7NB formula last right onto the front. Now to get started with my dimensional glaze application, I'm just taking a diagonal zigzag parting, very uneven zigzag parting, and applying my 5NB formula right onto the very first section because I want the most depth right underneath. For my next section, I'm gonna take another wide diagonal back zigzag parting. Again, you can see that it's pretty uneven. And then I'm gonna apply my 7NB formula. So when I'm blending two different glazes together, I do like to further comb that section down and really bring that base color right on down and then I'll apply my secondary color, so in this case my 7NB, right to those mids and ends and just still combing it through, making sure to get that nice saturation and blend. And I really like to use my hands so I can get the color right into the hair so it has a nice blend to it. Once I'm done applying my 7NB formula, I'm gonna move on to the next section with another diagonal back zigzag parting and then I'm going to apply my 5NB formula right onto the entire section and then finish off on that very top section with my 7NB color formula. Now for the very front section that I left out, I'm just going to apply my 7NB formula because I want the lightest formula possible right into the front. So even though we are taking her to a level seven and it's not gonna be blonde, we're just really looking for that dimensional brunette shade. So this is gonna be the perfect color right in the front hairline that's gonna be super low maintenance. Now we're gonna process Carrie's hair for about 15 minutes and then get ready to do her final shampoo and condition using Kenra Platinum's Prime Shampoo and Conditioner so we can give her a really beautiful style. I decided to go in with Kenra Platinum Prime Shampoo because the shampoo encourages elasticity and it is also sulfate free and it provides a nice gentle cleanse. The conditioner is really designed to smooth for even styling product absorption and you can really see the nice hydration and slip that we get from this conditioner. And here is the final result on how to create a dimensional brunette shade using all Kenra color. So just to recap, I went in with Kenra Professional Simply Blonde Clay Lightener at a one to two mixing ratio with 30 volume developer and did some hair painting throughout the face and throughout the top. And then for her final glaze, I went in with Demi Permanent Hair Color at a one to two mixing ratio, starting with 5NB right into 7NB and then alternating the shades throughout. 
and then processed her for 15 minutes. And for her final style, I shampooed her with Kenra Platinum Prime Shampoo Conditioner and finished her off with Thickening Mousse, Dry Texture Spray, and some Taffy. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this video tutorial. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time.